this video lecture covers how frames are used in html frames are similar to tables which are used to organize data and our browser's display window to organize data and window frames break up the window into individual independent panes or frames wherein each frame holds its own html file as a content and the content of each frame can be scrolled or changed independently of the others thus every frame acts like a mini browser let me show an example so here this browser's window is divided into three different parts every frame or every part of the window can display a different web page and the contents can be scrolled independently of the other frames let us learn how to use frames for organizing browser's window in this format so the frame set tag is used to include frames in the place of body tag frame set tag is added which acts as a container for other tags related to frame content the frame set tags can be nested in one another to divide a window further these are the attributes of frame set tag rows equal to value list so rows is used to divide the window horizontally in different frames the value list is the list of values separated by commas those can be expressed as pixels percentages or relative scale values whereas calls attribute is used to divide the window in columns that is vertically border color specifies the color of the border of every frame this is the syntax of frame set tag frame set either rows or calls can be used at a time to divide horizontally rows can be used and to divide vertically calls can be used example frame set rows equal to so the values are given in pixels three values are given that means the browser's window will be divided horizontally in three parts the first part that is the first row as 110 pixels the second row 140 pixels and the third that is the last will have 250 pixel height as it is shown here suppose this is your browser's window by using rows it can be divided into three different parts horizontally based on the values specified for value list it is going to take the size of the every row the value list can also be specified in terms of percentage with respect to the window that is rows is equal to 50% comma 25% comma 25% so here also the window will be divided into three different rows the top row will acquire 50% of height the middle row 25% height and the bottom 25% height once the window is divided into frames the tag frame can be used to specify a specific frame within a frame set it has two attributes name and src name will specify or assign the name of the frame and src specifies the url of the document to show in a frame as we have discussed in previous slide every frame displays a different web page so that is specified by using this src attribute in the frame 
tag. Another tag concerned with frames is no frames tag. No frames tag is used if browser doesn't support frames. So in this no frames tag we can include body tag which will display the alternate content in case the browser doesn't support frames. Let us see the practical part of it. So in this code we have added frame set tags for dividing browser's window into different frames. As we have mentioned at the place of body tag frame set tag is used. So in this frame set tag we have taken rows is equal to values are mentioned in terms of percentage. So what this will do it will divide browser's window horizontally. The first portion will take 30% and the second row will take 40% of the window. Once the window is divided horizontally in the first part that is in the first frame we want to display the web page xyz top dot html and the name for that frame is assigned as f1 after naming the first part in the second part in the second row we want to divide it further in two columns so one more frame set tag is used with the calls attribute calls equal to 40 percent comma 60 percent this will divide the second row in two columns as it is shown in the example after naming this frame frame set tag is used to divide the second row further in two columns this is how frame set tag can be nested once the second row is divided into two vertical parts we have to use two frame tags for naming them name equal to f2 src is equal to xyz dot html so at the left side xyz dot html will be displayed whereas in the third part we have taken the same file that is xyz top dot html end of frame set tag this is the end of this inner frame set tag and one more frame set tag will be closed at the end let us save the file and execute it so the frame is divided in three frames and according to the src attribute it display the web page in every frame every frame can be scrolled individually when i click on about us it shows the file connected When we click on the link, suppose the file which is linked with about us should be displayed in a different frame that is here. For this, we need to add one more attribute in the anchor tag. Let us see how to do this. Open XYZ file where we have added links about us and contact us. Here we can include one more attribute that is target. Target is equal to when we click on about us, about x.html should be displayed in this frame at the right side which we have named it as f3. So in target we have to specify name of the frame. In the similar way when we click on contact info the linked file should be displayed in the same frame. Let us save the file. 
Now when we click on about us, it is going to display it in the third frame. In the similar way, when we click on contact info, it will display it in the frame.